definitely give me that look of like, who the heck are you? Some of them have been waiting. We don't want to wait so this guy, it could be that there's an environmental distraction, but he's also not leaving. Oh, there we go. All right. So I did a big tree just to, um, in case he was going to be aggressive. I don't know, right? And let's watch how quickly he eats this. If he eats it quick and looks for another one, then we know we should keep going with our training session. Now. There was a fly that distracted him, and that could have thrown him off his game a little bit. He's a little excited. It might be about me being a new person. <laughs> so a little bit of excitement there, which again could lead to aggressive behavior, so I just have to be careful. Not going super fast for the treat. It could be because it's from a new person. So one thing I want to try is just see how he takes the treat from you. Because then we can evaluate if it's too much about me or if he's not that motivated. Okay, so definitely more comfortable with his person, which would make sense, right? So what I might do is I might have you train him and I'll coach you through it. Okay. Just so we can get some response here and get some goodies into him. So, so what else, what, um, does he know anything about that? No. Oh, cool. So why don't you try that turnaround thing, because that's going to be really easy. So first what you're going to work on is just having him target. So that means just giving him a couple treats from whichever hand you want to be your target. Okay, and then what I would do on your next step is just hold his fist a little bit more on this side so that he has to take a step towards you. Great, and give him a treat for doing that. And then do it a little farther so he has to walk a little bit more when he's finished with that one. And try not to show him the treat when you do it. Just have your closed fist, and then when he gets there, go ahead and give him the treat. Oh, that's great. So you might have to move it a little closer to you because that's he can probably still be too good. Some tell me he may not be super motivated, right? <laughs> Why is everybody looking at me? <laughs> I was thinking maybe just because I'm a new person to him, that was holding him back. But it might be that he's just, he's just. He's, he's your typical two-year-old. He's suspicious. Uh, I don't know. She's, Lulu's, and Delbert's three. Yeah. So try, not, try not to drag the target at this stage, because he's still running, right? So instead of pulling away from him, you pick your distance and ask him to go that distance. But I, my guess is that I think he's just a little, it wouldn't hurt us to wait until after lunch to try again with him. I don't think he's going to keel over from starvation right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> in reality, where you want